Hey guys, it's Rosie, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing an author Q&A because if you didn't know, I'm an author. I wrote this book called Get Outdoors, Memories of a Childhood Spent in the Woods. So I'm basically gonna give you a full overview of kind of my whole process and then give you some pointers. Um, I have a lot of questions written down in my notebook so I will be looking down to read the questions. But let's get started. So I put out a poll on Instagram for you guys to ask me any questions and I got a decent amount questions um, people were wondering kind of just how I did it and how I did it so young because I published this book when I was 14 so pretty young I think uh, but the first question is how did you get into writing so I've always loved writing it's just been one of my passions um, I have always you know gone above and beyond if I had been able to like pick a project idea for school I would always like pick something for writing um, so I started doing poetry in elementary school and I was in a writer's club and I uh, published a poem in like a little school collection and that was really my first like writing experience being published. Um, then after that I wrote a short story and published it in another school publication. We did um, the November writer's month so every day we had to write 250 words and it ended up being a decent chunk so I have that book here. Um, so many people from my grade wanted to do it that there were actually like two collections so I think that's really cool that um, like my school was so um, encouraging of writing I guess. Um, then I wrote and published Get Outdoors um, when I was in middle school and now I'm working on my next book um, and also I don't know I just I love writing so much so I'm like constantly wanting to write something new. I'm always coming up with new ideas for books and just blog posts and just everything. I love writing. Um, so the next question is what can your readers expect next? So I'm always um, writing for Medium. I, I don't know, every few weeks I think I come out with a new blog post, especially if I'm doing something exciting. Um, I don't always do anything exciting, but um, I've been, I don't know, I've posted like five-ish blog posts on there, but I'm thinking about starting my own blog maybe because I really like writing, like I said, but I just, I don't know, I feel kind of bad giving away my writing to Medium. I mean, I think I keep the rights to it, but I don't know. I just feel like it might be better received on my own platform, so I'm not sure about that. Um, also, I'm writing a book for my Girl Scout Gold Award. I wrote Get Outdoors for my Girl Scout Silver Award which, if you don't know, it's like, the Gold Award is basically the equivalent to um, a Boy Scouts Eagle Scout project, so there's a bronze, silver, and gold award for Girl Scouts, um, and for silver and gold, I've been writing books, so it's kind of another thing that goes along with my writing as a passion, because, you know, passion project, writing a book, Girl Scouts. Um, also, I would love to publish a standalone fiction work. I did publish fiction in my school um, collection when I was in sixth grade, but I, I don't know, I always have different like fiction ideas. I never really work on them though because for, I don't know, the last like three years, I've been either working on this or working on my current uh, project. So I haven't really had the time or energy to develop like a fiction idea but I really really want to do that because I have so many ideas just like cached in my Google Drive. Um, the next question is, is your book self-published and how did you publish it? So yes, my book is self-published. Um, we published it through Barnes & Noble Press. Um, it was a really long process back and forth with Barnes & Noble to get the printing correct, which it was really annoying. It took I think a few months to get there. so. Let me show you. So on the blue pages of my book, you can see the white on this because this is an old copy. And we spent months trying to get the page bleed correct um, in the formatting so that it wouldn't have that. But of course this one does um, because I, I keep a whole bunch of old copies just, you know, for remembering the struggles we went through. Um, but the color pages had white space on the edges um, and we also had to edit out a lot of like errors, you know, like spelling, um, some wording was a little incorrect, but of course that goes along with writing anything. We used an ISBN number that my mom had purchased like a long time ago, um, but you can just buy one now. I don't know exactly how, but I'm sure there's some way on the internet. Um, 
but we went through Barnes & Noble Press, like I said. Um, it is pretty self-explanatory. There's a lot of like customer service also that they can help you along with it. But I guess if you get your formatting correctly for your page bleed, then you probably won't have very many issues after that because I didn't. Um, the next question is, how did you plan it out before writing? I've thought about writing books before, but I've never been able to plan it out properly and start writing. So I did a pretty minimal um, outline before I started writing, and it changed so much that my outline in the beginning, <laughs> it was so teeny, but now you can see the table of contents, like, it's got a lot in it, and I'm pretty sure I had like maybe four main topics and then a few ideas under each, so really it's going to change a lot no matter how much you outline it, even if it's fiction you're probably going to come up with some ideas because the writing process is such a long process that you won't want to stick to exactly what you planned in the beginning, most likely, or at least I didn't. I added so much. Um, so also don't be worried about making it perfect because it's not going to stay that way. Um, for fiction, I would recommend planning out the plot and characters a little more than nonfiction. Nonfiction, you can kind of just like go with the flow, add what sections you want, but fiction, it's helpful to like outline, you know, plot structure, I guess. Um, the next question is, how long did it take to write your book? So from start to finish, it took two years. Um, of course, I'm still even like working on selling it and like publicity. So that's kind of like an ongoing thing. But from the idea to the published product without errors, that was two years. Um, it took me about one year to write it and I wasn't super dedicated in that time but um, the rest of the time was spent editing and putting the book together and editing and putting the book together each they were so long like editing we just we were doing editing the whole time I guess and then putting the book together was about four months I think but I had so many people edit this um, my mom edited it probably like 20 times I edited it, of course um, my brother my dad my aunt. We even paid an editor to um, help us out with that because I really didn't want to have any errors. I also had my project advisor for my Girl Scout project edit it. So it's really, really helpful to get a whole bunch of um, different perspectives on your editing. Um, it'll mostly be getting errors out of it, but you can also take constructive criticism, which I got too, um, which is really nice. So I'm pretty sure there are minimal errors left in my book now, hopefully. Um, but yeah, putting the book together also, I will talk about that. Um, I think that's the last question, but that was kind of a tough process because I had to learn a new program. Um, but the next question is, do you have any suggestions to help me write my own book? So I would just say, don't worry about it, just jump into writing because you want to take that momentum of like you having an idea and wanting to write and just write. And yes, it is really helpful to have an outline for your writing, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world as long as you have an idea and you're gonna stick to that idea and you have it like recorded, you don't, you're not gonna forget it. <laughs> um, it is really motivating to join a writing or publishing group. I joined a publishing group last November, so November of 2019. My book was already published, it had been published for about two months I think, but we have been helping like other people in the group writing their books and publishing them so I think it would have been helpful to have that kind of support group when I was going into it um, but I think I will definitely be using it for my next book because it's really nice to have that network that's how we found our editor so um, also you can self-publish your book and distribute it using blurb um, Blurb is a website. It's super easy from what I've heard. I found out about it after um, my book was already published. So kind of sad, but I'm, I'm glad I did it my way. But also Blurb helps you distribute the book. So basically it's a program that you can um, either outline it and like put it together using Blurb software or you can use the Blurb plugins in InDesign, which would have been very helpful because um, I had an InDesign template, which I'll talk about in the next question. It was really hard to figure out actually how to use the template. The template was kind of not designed in the most user-friendly way, so Blurb I think would have definitely been helpful, and then you can upload it and publish it straight through there, and like I said, distribute it and print it, so that would seem really nice, and I would probably recommend using that if it's your first time uh, publishing a book. So the last question is, 
how did you put your book together and like I said this was a really really hard process I had to learn Adobe InDesign which is kind of a tough um, platform I had never used it I've used many many Adobe products before but this was kind of different than all the other ones there are a lot of I don't know different like key shortcuts just different things if you know InDesign it'll probably be pretty easy but I bought an InDesign template for like 20 bucks I think and we changed it so much but like if you see it in my book I don't know it looks pretty nice like we changed the colors and laid out the pages differently than how the um than how the template was but I think the template was still great because if I had just opened InDesign and having it be my first time just look at it like blank pages I would have been terrified I would have had no idea what to do so I'm very glad that we did get a template even though it was kind of hard to use um, some people have their publisher do it for them like some people in my publishing group but it's really expensive so I think it's really better to just make up your own book if you don't have an extensive budget and also if you have an idea of what you want your book to look like already like my book being nonfiction and being like about my life I wanted a lot of my pictures to be in it um, but say you were writing fiction and it could just look you know like a fiction book does minimal pictures if any then that's different you can probably I don't know probably wouldn't be too expensive to get a publisher to do it or it'd probably be easy just to do it yourself but um, I would recommend getting a template if you're doing a nonfiction book with lots of pictures or even a fiction book with lots of pictures um, lastly you can create it on blurb without having InDesign because they have their own um, little platform that you can use but it's not as in-depth as InDesign InDesign's more of like a professional tool so yeah that is how I wrote my book, how you guys can write your own books. So um, make sure to check out getoutdoorsbook.com to see my book. Um, you can buy it on Barnes & Noble um, or you can contact us through my website to get autographed copies. Um, also you can contact us if you are like in the New England area and you wanted me to talk to your school group, Girl Scout group, Boy Scout group, I don't know, whoever. Um, I am really open to talking to kids about my book because the idea for my book was to um, encourage kids to spend more time outdoors using my own ideas and kind of how I grew up having a really outdoor lifestyle and then also I have a lot of like tutorials in there on how to have fun outdoors like we have a food section um, what else is there a lot of hiking stories building forts like I just hope that this book can help kids to spend more time outdoors, um, be off their screens. So yeah, make sure to follow me on all social media at RoseyRevolts and check out my Etsy shop also at RoseyRevolts and my book of course at GetOutdoorsBook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!